Hi guys, it's Nossi from Nostic Productions and uh, today I'm going to teach you how to make a BioScript or a config for your CSGO. Uh, this works in all Counter-Strike games but this tutorial is especially for, for Counter-Strike uh, Global Offensive. So today we're going to go through uh, the weapon uh, aliases, uh, the different names uh, of the weapons and uh, what they're called in-game and in real life. Uh, we're also going to go through key binds, um, especially notepad uh, binds, uh, because they're a little tricky to get uh, right. Uh, and we're also going to go through bind aliases, uh, so you can easily um, systemize your uh, your binds, if that makes any sense. Um, and of course we're going to put this together and we're going to, to bind uh, the weapons and uh, the grenades and stuff to your keyboard. So the first thing you want to do is create a new notepad. Uh, I mean document. Uh, call it whatever you want. Doesn't really matter now. Uh, the thing you want to do uh, immediately is go to save as and select all files. Uh, then you write auto exec dot CFG. CFG um, stands for config uh, and if you if you don't put all files here it's just going to save as a text document so make sure you put um, .cfg after it and uh, press save but since I've already done this I'm going to just open my um, my previously made uh, auto exec. Uh, and here you'll find many things. These are just random uh, settings that I've put in. But um, here are the weapon aliases, uh, which I'm uh, which I mentioned before. Um, on the left side, you'll see the uh, the weapon names uh, which are used for scripting and for um, uh, developers of uh, Counter Strike. Uh, and these are the names you're going to use when you're going to bind. And these are the names uh, which are used in real life. So, so these are, are much easier to use. For example, the Leon YG 1265 auto shotgun uh, is very is a very long name. So instead, you can use XM 1014. So that's the reason behind those is to to shorten and make uh, scripting easier. Uh, and keep in mind that. Um, uh, some weapons are only available for terrorists or counter-terrorists. So if you want to bind... Um, no, I'll, I'll just show it to you later. I can uh, explain it later. But um, these are the bind names that I was talking about. Um, these are the... Um, no, no, what's it called? Keypad um, bindings. Uh, and the thing is, with the keypad, um, you, don't, you can just write one and you... Can bind one to a, a gun because you have to to write the name that's on the the actual button. So, uh, for instance, on uh, number one it says end. Uh, so you write K P uh, shortened for um, a keypad and underscore and end, which means one. So if you want to bind number one to a, a gun, you just write K P N. So that's the whole. Uh, reason behind this uh, this part here and uh, that's why the keypad is so tricky to bind and I've gotten uh, a lot of requests to, to do this instead of just simply putting F1 instead um, so uh, another thing you want to know, know before you start scripting is uh, when you put slashes um, in front of something in front of a line it doesn't count in the um, it doesn't register it uh, so, uh, how do I explain this? Um, yeah, see here uh, on top. I want these settings to to be uh, in effect in the game. So uh, I haven't put slash before, but these uh, these are just for listing. These are not for actual use. So I put slash before. So I just um, make a headline uh, for aliases. And uh, the aliases, uh, you can see, um, you can see a lot of aliases uh, on the on the internet. You can find custom aliases and uh, whatnot. But uh, today we're going to create our own. 
and um, uh, let me see. Yeah, you can look at this as as packs of um, of different uh, scripting names. I don't know. Uh, for example, if I wanted to um, do create, okay, create a pack. So I write not slash <laughs> alias uh, and the name of the um, alias which uh, I'm going to call pack and then I'm going to write um, buy well, buy for uh, yeah obviously buying a gun uh, m for a one if I remember correctly let me see if I can find it where's the m for a one Um, should be here somewhere. Yeah, I can find it, but uh, anyways, I, I think it's M4A1. And uh, when you're going to bind multiple things, you have to use the semicolon. So, buy M4A1, semicolon. And uh, because M4A1 is just available on counter uh, counter-terrorist side, you have to bind the AK-47 as well. Uh, because if you press 1 on the terrorist side with the M4A1 bind, you won't get any guns. So, you write by AK-47, and um, you might also need um, a vest, uh, or a vest and a helmet. So, vest helm, I think, is the proper uh, scripting name. Uh, and you might need a, a heat grenade. And um, a flash grenade, which is called flash bang. Oh, I forgot to write by, of course. Like this. And let me see, smoke grenade. And uh, maybe a diffuser. Obviously, when you're on uh, the terrorist side, um, the diffuser won't be bought because you can't buy one. So, this is just for the counter terrorist side. And um, so, I maybe want to um, create a, a bind for, um, I don't know, uh, both M4A1 and uh, the AK without the the grenades, so I type alias M4 AK for example, and buy M4 A1 and buy AK 47. Uh, and in the previous uh, Counter Strikes, uh, those before CS:GO, you had to write um, buy uh, primary ammo and uh, buy secondary ammo. But since uh, since the new updates in the CSGO, you, you don't have to do that because you get ammo automatically. So uh, I'm just going to create some, uh, some aliases uh, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I've uh, created a couple of uh, aliases. Uh, as you can see, I have the the shotgun uh, alias for two different shotguns. I have FAMAS and uh, Galil uh, alias, Deagle alias, Diffuser alias, and uh, the Diffuser and Deagle alias is, is just to shorten the, the scripting name even more, so I don't have to get these really long binding um, sentences. And um, let me see, yeah, and these two, the last two here. Uh, you can also bind uh, or make al aliases for um, saying things. So, for example, say team, uh, play defensively guys, hold your positions and wait for them. Uh, so if I were to press a button which had this bind to it, I would say this sentence. You can also do this with a normal say or yeah, just anything. Um, so what we want to do now is uh, actually bind these aliases to something. So, let me see, you go, uh, for example, if you want to bind to the keypad, you go bind, um, keypad, 
ins which is um, I think zero yeah ins is uh, insert so uh, kp ins uh, all nades um, the all nades is uh, this alias right here and uh, if I press press uh, uh, zero on my uh, KP in game. I will uh, buy all the nades uh, which I have uh, uh, written down here. So you can um, use these aliases that you have created before just to make these binds easier. So, uh, for example, KP and which is uh, number one on your keypad, combine this to M4AK, which means you will buy the M4. Uh, or cult on the counter terrorist side or the AK on the uh, terrorist side. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to create some more binds and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, I found uh, uh, found out my uh, my binds and uh, written them down and um, yeah, as you can see I've uh, managed to fill out all the the keypad uh, buttons uh, and if, if you want to add more you can uh, bind for example bind F1 uh, bind F1 to yeah whatever you want like say I'm awesome you know so if you press F1 uh, you just uh, say I'm awesome automatically in the chat um, I also added uh, an echo uh, for the console, uh, so when you launch this uh, by script in game, uh, you will read a sentence in the console uh, which says by script enabled, so you know that uh, the by script is actually live and uh, it's working. So uh, this is the tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you where to to save it, of course. Uh, now you might just uh, save it to the to your desktop. Uh, you have to go to um, your computer and your uh, drive uh, where you have your uh, Steam folder, and go to Steam Apps, uh, Common, uh, Global Offensive, CS:GO, CFG, which is for config, and here you put the um, uh, auto exec. And uh, if you want to launch this in game, you just bring up the console and write um, auto exec, not uh, exec, uh, space auto exec dot cfg, like um, I'm gonna write it like this. Or what you can do is you can go into the config right here, which is here from before. Uh, and write what I just wrote in the end, like here. No, oh, let me see. Here, you just write um, exec auto exec dot cfg, and uh, this config is launched automatically. Um, and um, uh, yeah, this will launch it uh, at the same time. So. That's all I have for today, so uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial.